This is what people need to realize. The only reason why it's illegal is because of economics. It's because there's like a thousand different things that marijuana would fix that pharmaceutical drugs right now are prescribed for. And it would cost the pharmaceutical companies billions and billions of dollars every year. If marijuana was made illegal, it would cost alcohol companies. When you see those commercials, like those uh, the, the talking dog, the pot commercial, yeah. the, the, I wish you wouldn't smoke weed. But the, those are sponsored by Partnership for a Drug-Free America. Mm -hmm. Partnership for a Drug-Free America is funded by alcohol companies. I mean, it's hilarious. Really? Yeah, and alcohol's a drug. Yeah. yeah. But it's a drug that's sanctioned. Yeah. And it's like, have you ever meet, meet someone that's like, I don't do drugs? Meanwhile, they're smoking and they have a beer in their hand. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing right now, douche? Yeah. You know, it's like, just because it has a label and a, you know, a barcode and you can scan it doesn't mean it's a drug. In 1935, they came out with a machine called the decorticator. And what a decorticator is, it allows you to effectively and economically uh, effectively process hemp fiber. Because before, they used to use slavery. And when slavery was abolished in 1865, they had no means of uh, effectively producing this pulp like you know, that right. would be economically effective. So more people were using cotton. But the Declaration of Independence was print, printed on hemp. The, the uh, parachute that George Bush Sr. <laughs> used to parachute in World War War II. That was made out of hemp. Hemp was a, had huge industrial uses. It was just very difficult to process. And so they came out with this machine called a decorticator and it was it allowed them to really effectively produce it. And then Popular Science had this cover that said hemp, the new billion dollar product. And everyone was going to start using hemp for paper and for textiles. And William Randolph Hearst, who owned all these newspapers yeah. and on top of that, owned all these paper mills. It was going to cost him millions of dollars wow. to convert over to hemp. So instead he started printing stories in his paper about some new drug called marijuana and marijuana wasn't even a slang term for for cannabis marijuana was used to describe a type of mexican wild tobacco completely unrelated so they called it marijuana and they said this is how they got it illegal they said people are smoking it and blacks and mexicans are raping white women <laughs> So Congress outlawed this new drug, not even knowing they were outlawing hemp. They had no idea, which hemp had been in use for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. And so then they came out with all these uh, videos, or these movies rather, like Reef for Madness and all these propaganda films. And it was all just to get people to think that there's something wrong with this one. It was totally economic. That's all it is. So no you're here to die from the price of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know a little bit <laughs> No one has died from pot in over 10,000 years of use. 400,000 people every every year die directly in this country alone, directly as use, from use of cigarettes. Yeah. No one's ever died from pot, ever. But it's illegal. And you're not going to live forever, all right? You're going to live and you're going to die. And everybody is. We're all temporary beings going through this life. And, you know, who are you to tell other people what they can and can't do? And people are like, oh, pot makes you lose, your pot makes you lazy. No, you're a loser and you're lazy. <laughs> And if you smoke pot, you're a you know, pot smoking lazy loser. It doesn't mean pot makes you a loser. I thought the same thing. You know, I didn't start smoking pot until about five years ago. I thought pot made you stupid. You know, I bought into it just as much as anybody did. I realized when I was like 30 years old that I was tricked. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. People say, well, you can abuse marijuana. Well, shit, you can abuse cheeseburgers too. You know, you don't go around closing Burger King because you can abuse something. I can take a fucking fork and jam it in my eyeballs. That mean forks should be illegal? You know, I could jump off a bridge. Should we outlaw bridges? Let's nerf the world. In 10,000 years of known use of marijuana, there's never been a single death attributed to marijuana. There's 400,000 deaths in America alone every year that are directly attributed to tobacco. How many people in this country alone are addicted to antidepressants? How many people who are on antidepressants really have imbalances and how many of them just got off of a bad relationship and they're depressed? The people that have personality problems and the people that are going to be lazy and going to lose their job, they're going to lose their job anyway. They're not losing their job because of marijuana. That's just a lie.